Let's learn in this video how to run an Azure DevOps pipeline inside a container running inside a pod in a Kubernetes cluster like AKS, Azure Kubernetes Service. In the previous video, we have already created the container and we have run that container inside a machine, inside a host machine. Today, we want to take that container and run it inside a Kubernetes cluster and then deploy or run our pipelines inside this pod. So let's get started. Those steps are actually well documented on the Azure DevOps documentation where you will find all the steps required to achieve this. And then I have actually created another environment, a simplified environment to achieve the same uh, objective where in my uh, GitHub repository right here I have put all the YAML files and all the scripts required to uh, follow this uh, demo. So what I have done is that actually this video is the second in a series of three videos where in the first one we have created a new agent pool that is called Linux Containers AKS just by going to create new uh, agent pool, choosing self-hosted, then choose the name of that one. And after that I have gone to settings to personal access tokens and I have created a new uh, token right here with specifying all scopes, uh, read and manage and then specifying the expiration date and the token I've created is this one here, DevOps agent pad. Then what I have done is that I have used the Docker container, uh, the Docker file from the documentation, from the official Microsoft documentation, and I have created the build agent and uh, installed actually the build agent inside the, uh, the container. And then I have um, tried to run that container inside my local machine and it did actually run it uh, successfully uh, where I have tried to run a pipeline from inside that uh, container. And then next here I want to run that same container inside a Kubernetes cluster. So for that I have actually connected uh, or I have pushed the uh, container into a container registry like ACR, Azure Container Registry. So I have done that, uh, uh, that step right here. Then now I want to run that container inside AKS. So for that I have created an AKS cluster and then I have connected to that cluster retrieving the nodes from that cluster and from here I'll be able to uh, deploy my container. To deploy the container inside AKS we either use the command line or better we use the YAML files. Here I have a sample YAML file for deploying a container from a container registry. So here I have the deployment object that will go to deploy the image that I have pushed into my registry. Here I have the reference for that image and that image uh, or this container actually to be able to connect to Azure DevOps needs to do authentication and authorization that's through uh, it will require these environment variables, these three ones. First is the URL of Azure DevOps, the token or the path, and then the name of the agent pool. All of these parameters were, were provided using a secret uh, object in Kubernetes. A secret is meant to um, save uh, some sensitive data encoded using base64. So what you see here are the three environment variables that I want to pass and those are uh, 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 secured using base64. So I have here the value for the URL and then the name of the agent pool and then the path uh, token that I'm using and then I have uh, those are commented out and then I use here the base64 uh, values. So now I'm connected to my cluster. Let's go to deploy this YAML file. So I'll go to run kube control, apply, and then I'll apply that deployment agent.yaml file into my cluster. Note that here actually I'm deploying into a specific namespace which is DevOps agent. So here it tells me that deployment were created successfully. So now if I do kube control get deployment from within the DevOps agent namespace, then I get the two containers running from there. What I can also do is just go to get the names of these two uh, containers or these two pods actually. And yeah, here it is, the two pods running successfully. So that now if I go back to Azure DevOps uh, portal, then I go to my agent pool, then from here I should be able when I go to agents, I should be able to see the two new deployments that will appear right here, uh, taking the same name as the pods in my cluster, which are the two names that appears right here. 
So let's now go to try to run a pipeline inside this deployment. So to do that, I have created an Azure DevOps pipeline, the one right here that will be triggered automatically, and that will go to run uh, six jobs right here because I have uh, defined a strategy with the matrix that have six uh, values right here. And in each job, it will go to run this simple uh, step or this simple script that will show hello from inside Docker container and then it will show the host name of my container and then it will go to show the environment variables. So this will replicate the number of uh, uh, jobs that will uh, run. Let's go now to just run this pipeline. So I'll go to click run. Once that's done, I go here to click the name of that build and I see the six pipelines or the six jobs uh, waiting for uh, an available agent to be to run them. And here we get some agents available. We'll start running the first one. So if I go here to uh, CMD line and you can see here the name of the first uh, container that appears right here. If I go to choose another uh, another one, for let's take this one for example, CMD, and we can see the name of another uh, build agent that appears. So into here, what we have done is that we have created a deployment with only two uh, two build agents. Of course, we can go to update that value at any time by going just to update the number of the replica right here to go from two to 10, for example, and then we'll be able to run 10 jobs in parallel. So this could be done manually, okay? But we can also automate this step using KEDA. And that's going to be the objective of our next video. So stay tuned. Thank you.